In this video, we're going to be looking at a uh, four cluster that's had a five month wild ride. So, a bit of a story with this one. About five months ago, uh, the owner contacted me and said, uh, Hey, I got a, a cluster with odometer air. Can you send me a new EEPROM? So, uh, mailed out an EEPROM, I think about a week later. He sent me back another message saying, well, it still has EEPROM error, but now my truck won't start. So I had him send me a picture. And what he accidentally did was he put the EEPROM in the location of where the 56585 chip is supposed to be. And I think he might have a, this might be a 2005 board. So where, where we're sitting right now is it is not, uh, it's not doing any data communication. There's no serial bus talking back and forth here. So we probably have something going on with that 56585 chip. Um, as I was saying, in 2003 and 2004, the uh, EEPROM and uh, serial bus chip are in one location. In 2005, they switched them, so you really have to watch out for that. Let's see what this looks like. So anyways, uh, and then, so what happened is he, he actually put the EEPROM in the wrong spot, which of course sent 12 volts to the EEPROM at some random pin. I'm not even, didn't even check to see where, but anyways, it blew out the new EEPROM. So I sent him a second EEPROM, uh, and this time he put it in the right spot. And it, as you can see, it no longer says odometer error. So the odometer works right, but now it has no serial bus data communication. So let's see what is going on and why it is not talking. Um, first glance it looks okay. He may have may have just accidentally knocked some resistors off maybe. It, he definitely you can tell he used a little bit too much heat. Um, I have to do some some probing. Uh, Pull this up under the microscope and see if anything stands out. So far, it doesn't look terrible. Yeah, probably should have replaced all the bulbs while he was at it, but I'm going to take care of that. All right.
Okay, so there was a short across the 56585. That is where the microscope pays for itself. That sure, sure does help in my old eyes to see things like that. Uh, I reflowed both chips. I just, uh, I, OCD wanted to make the solder joints a little nicer. So let's see if we have uh, serial communication back and working with that short removed. I'll throw some some needles on these guys to see if we get any movement out of them. That's usually the first thing people notice when you lose serial data bus communication is these four gauges over here don't work. These This won't either, but let's power it up. Let's see what happens. Ah, that's good. Engine overheated. That means it's talking. See, now I can move these needles over here. All right, so that's all it was. It's just a short. Um, Okay, I did notice a couple of these stepper motors got melted from uh, a little bit too much heat in that area. So I'm replacing those. Let's get these bulbs off of here. Let's just do one more quick check before I go any further here. We'll just pop some needles on here and make sure everything is still behaving. All right, looks good so far. Okay, we have communication. And let's just make sure this guy's working here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to continue.
All right, one final check on everything. Speedometer looks good. Let's get the uh, signal going back to this thing again. There we go. We have full serial bus data communication back working again. And uh, all the backlights are, are new and working. Um, so I guess if uh, hopefully someone can take away from this video a little bit of a little bit of information. Um, if you short out your 56585 uh, serial bus chip, you can actually cause a truck to not start. It will short out that data bus line for everything in the vehicle. And um, I guess, uh, yeah, the only thing that was really keeping this from working was that tiny little short across that chip. Um, and also watch out for 2005 boards. Don't assume they're the same as the 03 and 04 as far as that EEPROM uh, placement is if you ever attempt to fix odometer error yourself. So, all right, well, that, uh, I think we're done with this one. Thanks again for watching.